गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू टू द साइंस क्लास ऑफ एट स्टैंडर्ड आई एम निधि भार्गव गोइंग टू टीच यू द साइंस लेसन वी वर डिस्कसिंग अर द लेसन नंबर टू दैट इज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म फ्रेंड एंड फो आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन द लास्ट लेसन अबाउट द यूजफुल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द हार्मुल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म there are many ha- harmful microorganisms present in the nature the microorganisms harm the human beings animals and plants as well the microorganisms which are causing the diseases in the human beings in the plants or in the animals they are known as pathogens they cause the different type of diseases like the communicable diseases the diseases which are spread through the air water food or through the direct contact of person to person are called the communicable diseases so we can define the communicable diseases as microbial diseases that can spread from an infected person to other healthy person through air water food physical contact or by animals for example cholera common cold tb etc and don't forget about covid 19 that is also a communicable disease that is why all of you are in your houses if i talk in detail that means these diseases how they are spreading through the air through the air if i say for example very commonly so suppose a person is suffering from a common cold and suddenly he sneezes along with his sneeze from the mouth the moisture along with the viruses they spread in the air if any healthy person is standing and talking to you suppose he breathes that air which contains the virus he also get infected through that so the the through the air these diseases are spreading with the help of microbes another is through the water how the contaminated water when we are drinking then that causes the cholera typhoid and jaundice such type of diseases why so whenever the flood is there or some uh, natural calamity occur we are asked to drink the boiled water boil water when we boil the water then the germs get killed and so it is it becomes safe so it does not uh, spread the diseases another cause is through the food we eat if i talk about the food we eat then many pathogens and bacteria and the spores of fungi are there which are causing the diseases and they uh, the they cause the food poisoning in our body also and the uh, different type of germs they also develop in the body suppose they uh, contaminate the food and if we eat that food by uh, secreting the toxic substances then we suffer from these diseases it causes the uh, diarrhea vomiting and uh, abdominal pain severe headache these are the symptoms when we eat the infected food we have done about the uh, from the food how the microorganisms are transmitting now we will do the deep part that is through the insects and animals how, how the microorganisms are spreading the diseases when i talk about the insects and animals those insects and animals which are transmitting the diseases they are known as vectors so the vectors carry the disease causing microbes from an infected person to a healthy person and cause the disease the very first vector which we uh, see in our daily life is the house fly house fly has got legs and the mouth so when uh, it sits on the faces or the organic waste then the uh, germs from the uh, stick on to its legs or the mouth and uh, when it sits to uh, sits on the exposed food or 
on the open food then those germs are transmitted to that food and when we consume that food then we are suffering from the different type of diseases so another uh, that uh, vector is the mosquito when i talk about the mosquito then uh, Uh, we are very well aware of that malaria happens due to the mos mosquito bite female anopheles mosquito is the uh, mosquito uh, which when bites to the human beings uh, while it was sucking the blood of the human being it on the other hand transmit the plasmodium which is a protozoa to the healthy human being and this plasmodium causes malaria in the person and malaria also is a fatal disease another mosquito is the aedes this mosquito carries the dengue virus and so the bite of aedes dengue is caused which is a also a fever there are some general preventive measures against the microbial diseases the very first which i suggest you that wash the vegetables and the fruits when you bring from the market second is boil the water if you feel that there is some risk of infection third is that uh, you should keep uh, the patient in isolation if any one suffering from some disease then fourth is keep the uh, things or belongings of that patient uh, some uh, separately at some other place keep your surroundings clean your community clean do not let the water collect in the coolers in the flower pots or in the ditches nearby your house because we all know that the mosquito breed in the water another thing is that we should keep the lanes clean and we should not get the contaminated food or open food we should not bring from the market so that we can consume and suffer from the different diseases now i will talk about the uh, micro organism microbial diseases in the animals microbial diseases in the animals like cows and buffaloes or the poultry animals when uh, these animals get infected then from cow and buffalo the milk production is decreased or reduced if i talk about the birds then egg production is also affected and uh, uh, the poultry birds which are kept if they suffer from the diseases then they uh, may lead to the death if i talk about the plants then in plants the diseases uh, which affect the different plants can be the wheat can be the rice can be the sugar cane and they are transmitted by the seed or by the air or by the soil in the plants so the plant the plants can be prevented by spraying the chemical over the plants over the infected part of the plants and we can save the plants from the microorganisms after the plants we will talk about the microorganisms cause the food poisoning when i talk about the food food poisoning when the food is not kept properly or it is kept open or the food preservation is not done properly or the temperature is not proper that means the there is fluctuation of light in the refrigerator so the vegetables and fruits get stale the microorganisms that grow on our food sometimes produce toxic substances which are harmful for our health the toxic substances produced by microorganisms make the food poisonous causing the serious illness called the food poisoning that is due to the bacteria like salmonella clostridium or the fungi like aspergillus or penicillin now as these cause the food uh, microorganism 
or uh, the food uh, poisoning through the microorganism so we can say that the food get stale for the food preservation uh, if uh, in order to save the food we do the food preservation it is done under several conditions first condition is that there should be dryness or the temperature should be very low or the temperature should be very high let me define the food preservation the process by which is spoilage of food is pre prevented using the chemical or physical methods is called food, food preservation the food preservation is done by various methods first of all a chemical method is used in chemical method we are using the chemicals to preserve the food the very common is the sodium benzoate citric acid or potassium metabisulfate if i talk about sodium benzoate sodium benzoate is used to preserve the fruit juices and the squashes the citric acid is used to preserve the confectioneries and potassium metabisulfate is used to preserve the jam and the jellies after the first step i move on to the preservation by the common salt preservation by common salt uh, usually the fish and the meat was preserved by salting so salt what happens when the salt is uh, applied then salt reduces the growth of the microbes by uh, taking out the moisture from the food the uh, common salt is also used to preserve the tamarind the raw mangoes or the amla at home you must have seen your mother doing it then we move on to the another preservation step with the help of the sugar sugar is used to preserve the jams and jellies and the fruits and sugar also stops the growth of the microbes the next step is the uh, to do the food preservation with the help of oil and vinegar oil and vinegar it cuts off the supply of oxygen for the food and you have seen that the oil is used to preserve the food when your mother uh, make the uh, that pickle of the raw uh, mango and uh, after the that pickle is ready your mother adds the vinegar and the oil in order to um, stop the growth of the microbes in the jar so it remains for the whole year as such the next step is the preservation by the pasteurization pasteurization is a particular process to preserve the milk in this process the milk is heated up to 70 degree centigrade at uh, 15 to 30 minutes uh, 15 to 30 seconds and then it suddenly uh, cooled up to 10 degree centigrade in order to uh, kill the bacteria or germs uh, which were remaining then this pro this process is called pasteurization and this was discovered by louis pasteur in 1862 the next process of food preservation is the cooling cooling as we are preserving the fruits and vegetables in the refrigerator at low temperature um, the cooling is done and the, so the food remains preserved for some time or when they are preserved in a large amount in the storages the freezing is done that means the food is preserved at very low temperature the next is the canning or vacuum packing canning or wet canning is done the uh, that uh, the uh, food is heated or uh, all the germs are killed at high temperature and then they are canned uh, in air tight containers that is the canning or the vacuum packing is done next is the heating heating is done uh, or such as the milk can be preserved by heating uh, again and again if you heat the milk then milk is not spoiled 
then the dehydration dehydration means the removal of the moisture from the food the wheat rice or pulses are exposed to the sunlight in order to remove the moisture from them and they are preserved if you must have seen your mothers making the potato chips at home then she made the potato chips dipped in the boiled water and then she flattened flattens it and exposes it to the sunlight in order to remove the moisture from it and that process is called dehydration so these are the various steps by which the food preservation is done